Hi everyone, sorry can't be bothered getting dressed uh, for this video review, but what it is, is just a quick one saying that Nikon looks like is about to release its uh, second generation of the Nikon One cameras. What to do is, I was just on the Nikon Rumours website, which is a great website if you want, well, it's a good website for rumours and also just giving you updates on most kind of buying and selling and prices and things which may be coming out and also just full on rumours and also great one if you want to just go and have a look at it and just read the comments of people just constantly just bitching all the time about everything. I, I, I don't think there's ever been a product that Nikon, Nikon has brought out where everyone's gone, that's fantastic, I love it, it's great. There's always people moaning, nagging, grumping about something uh, on there. So it's always quite a good one. Definitely get the Pringles, get the beer, sit down and just just read the comments for a good hour because it's, it's a good laugh. And it's a good way to kind of, anyway, whatever, you don't care. What I'm impressed with is that, okay, so the J2 is the new version that's coming out. Nikon Rumors has already got the photo out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of their cameras, and it's coming out with some pretty nifty accessories. It looks like one being an underwater one, another one with like a screen thing where it looks like we can bring the screen so it's facing you. So what I'm thinking is this might be the future GoPro, as in all my kind of blogging videos. I use my GoPro Hero 2 camera, which I've gone and bought the extra screen for the back, and I've got this kind of skeleton housing, which in total, the camera was 300, the screen was 80 or 90, the case was probably about another 20, um, and a lot of bits I've bought for it, and the microphone probably about another 30, so I've probably spent about 450 pounds on my GoPro. Hero 2. Nikon, whenever it first brought out its One series, I thought was pretty rubbish and overpriced. However, what I have noticed is that they've definitely dropped the price by quite a bit. And it's cheaper version, The I think it's a J1. Uh, the cheaper version one, yeah, because the V was very expensive and the J was not. Um, it's down with a lens to around about £350, which I was thinking, actually, that's, that's not too bad. That's definitely in, like, super zoom kind of point and shoot territory, so that's, that's, that's actually quite good. Um, and yet it seemingly got some good rates for like it, its autofocus and, and it would be very good for video. So I'm quite keen or interested in how the new one, or the second generation, comes out. Um, and I'm also quite glad that I never bothered buying the first generation, the, the V1, the J1. A, overpriced. B, first generation. You know, they're always going to be upgraded, usually quickly, by people giving their responses on them and then Nikon quickly kind of going, oh, let's change this, add that, do this, make it better, drop the price. So, first of all, A, have you bought a Nikon One System camera? How have you felt with it? Um, do you think it was overpriced? Uh, were you happy with it or did you sell it on afterwards? Two, if you did get one, are you thinking of maybe getting the second generation? Three, if you didn't get any, like me, are you kind of interested in the second generation? Because have a look at this stuff. It looks like there's going to be ones with like a maybe a, uh, like a ring light kind of accessory. I don't know if that's going to be a continuous or just a flash. Uh, a micro external microphone stuff already kind of made for it. And it's coming out with a couple of new lenses as well. Because that's the thing which I thought really sucked with it. Only came out with three or four or five lenses. Um, but its widest lens was a 10 millimeter. And on this sensor, which is smaller than a four third sensor, that's equivalent of a 28 millimeters, crop equivalent of 20, 27 or 28 millimeters. So it's not super wide, it's it's kind of not. Um, so I always thought it, you can't really use it for self blogging. Like with the GoPro, it's ultra wide angle, it's like 170 degrees, so I can hold it there and it gets everything. But with the J1 or the Nikon 1 system, you wouldn't be able to do that. And I also think that the I think it had a 10 to 100 millimeter lens, or 10 to 30. I think 10 to 30 was their kit, but they also had a 10 to 100, which is like a super mega zoom. But it just seemed like a massive lens on a tiny camera, and it's just, I just think that always looks a bit naff and a bit strange. And it's also it's 10 megapixels. Again, I'm not really that bored about it because I don't think many people that are using photos like this are going to be going, or using cameras like this are going to be going. Oh, I need to get 
giant super mega prints. It's like, no, 10 megapixels is more than enough for 99.5% of people out there. However, the other thing I just want to say is I'm so impressed with Nikon Rumors getting these photos of both the camera and the lenses because although it's saying it's going to announce, Nikon is going to announce these cameras, there's nothing on the websites that I can see. I've been all over the Nikon sites and the most recent thing is July the 12th talking about the release of the 800mm lens. So, um, like press library? No, I don't think there's anything. Use Archive Awards. Yeah, I've been on both the global and the UK version of Nikon, and I cannot find anything that really gives you a, a you know, kind of a tempt, oh, look, we're going to bring something out. It always just seems to be these rumour sites that get the information out to the public before the actual companies do, which I'm kind of impressed with Nikon Rumours, kind of disappointed with Nikon itself, or Canon or whichever company it is. It doesn't really matter because they all, they're all the same. Uh, but yeah, just tell me what you think. What do you think of the new potential J1 future camera, a second generation of the One system? Are you interested in it? And if you are, would you be happy buying it? Let me know what you think. Cheers. Oh, actually, and tell me what features you're hoping that this new generation will have compared to the last one, because I'd be quite interested to know that. Cheers. Bye-bye.